What's up guys? So I am uh, kind of riding around campus today and I kind of want to talk to you guys about uh, a little something that I'm working on. Um, I'm working on a final project for my video class here at Ball State and uh, I kind of want to talk to you guys about it because it really has struck me um, in kind of a really cool, awesome way. I'm doing it on my friend Maddie. Now, she is a photojournalism major here at Ball State, and she's doing a year-long photo story on a kid named Christian. Now, he is an eight-year-old boy who has uh, brain cancer and actually only has half a brain. Um, so, I, it was a really cool story when she told me about it, and she's been working really hard on it lately. And I wanted to use her as my subject for my project. Now what I did was I made her the subject, so I kind of went through with how she is telling the story through her camera. So it's the story of her telling the story, which is kind of meta. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun project and uh, I'm gonna stick some of it in here for you guys to see. I even went and interviewed with the family and they just had this light and airiness about them that really has influenced me and want made me want to tell you guys about it that um, things are always positive, things can always get better, uh, and they just touched me in a really, really good way. In October of 2016, Christian started to scream and vomit profusely um, in the middle of the night, so they rushed him to the hospital, and he quickly underwent uh, brain surgery. And it was after that that they found out he had a, a severe and rare form of brain cancer. Um, this form of brain cancer and the tumors in his head have never been documented before, ever in history. As a photographer, I go into community, go into um, someone's life, and I photograph. I photograph those moments. I photograph uh, the ups and the downs, the lefts and the rights of their life and I narrow down all the photos into just like a few, maybe a dozen or so, and I explain what the photo is, but through these pictures, I am able to tell what is happening in their life, and I am able to tell a full story through these photographs rather than pen and paper. If you see a photo and it makes you stop and think, and you're like, huh, how did this get taken? What is this telling? What is the meaning behind this photo? Those are the photos I'm trying to capture and the moments I'm trying to capture, not just for me, but for the Doherty family. I've had many conversations about it, trying to push through that like barrier of how to get the next new image. With Christian, it's different because we don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow. We don't know if it's gonna be next week. We don't know if it's gonna be when I'm in Arizona visiting other family members. Um, so I guess I've never had to count down death before, but in this way, it's almost as if I'm counting down a clock whose batteries I can't see. Something I recently realized w working with their family that he was in the hospital for 66 days and they are exactly 66 miles from Riley Hospital. He had his fifth brain surgery on a Monday, on February 25th, I think, and on the 24th, they went to church per usual, uh, but he was like, I'm getting baptized today, no questions. I'm getting baptized today, is what Christian said. Um, in like movies and stuff, you always see how like timelines go. And when they called me, my first thought was, this kid knows he's not gonna survive through surgery tomorrow. This kid knows he's going to be called back to God tomorrow. Um, Christian asked if, when he's gone, if I can make this into a book so his parents will always see him at the stores. Wherever they go, they will always know he's there. And yeah, I'm just kind of riding around campus today thinking about, you know, how grateful I am for the things I'm doing, how amazing it is that I'm getting to do this with you guys, and how amazing um, it is just to be in the place that I'm at, and just how thankful I am for you guys and everything I do. So um, yeah, just kind of wanted to share that little uh, little bit in the vlog today. And uh, yeah, now uh, not to get too heavy, but we're gonna do some more B-roll and have some more fun, because self B-roll.
What's up everybody? So uh, if you saw on last week's vlog, we, me and Nate, came over and made some 3D prints with some very awesome people over here at Ball State's Teacher College and they're ready. So I'm actually going to pick them up right now and I made a new friend and we're gonna give her a couple decks of the new Peelers V2. Yes. And I also have a gift for you, so. Oh, uh, what? You pull it off, but it looks like he's got a little pathetic King Tut beard and then you've oh, got- Oh, Nate's got a beard. Yeah, you just pull them off. What? No. Probably need some pliers, but yeah, it's so that like this hanging over when it prints, like since it prints layers like this, if you printed this, it would just fall off. So they print these like weird what? doohickeys. Okay, so you Nate's with the glue. yeah, so Nate's Nate's done. This is what this is what Nate looks like. He's on the original OG peelers. Wow, look at him. He's doing you know. Look, look, you're oh, standing. Oh, and there's oh my me. God, the glue is working. And there's me. Ta da! Doing the things. You would need two of these to fill it, right? Right. So there's this would be one of two pieces. Right. And that's how you teach fractions. And it also teaches how like different denominations add up because you could add yeah, cause you the could add to it and everything it up whole. and see that it all adds up to equal one. So you guys like see how you can make these little 3D prints to like try to use educationally. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the whole purpose of this place is to incorporate technology into education. Goodbye. Bye. I'm leaving. Bye. Thank you so much. Steve says goodbye. Steve says goodbye. Bye. Bye, Steve. All right, bye guys. <laughs> so, it is currently Sunday, and I'm waiting on Nate to get here. Uh, we were supposed to do the podcast at two, and it is currently two o'clock, and he's not here. So, I'm just gonna sit in the lobby and wait for him, and hopefully he gets here soon, because Nate likes to take his time. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we can do the podcast right this time, because we didn't do it right last time, and my camera was not in focus on me, and the audio didn't record, so hopefully we're gonna do that right this time. But yeah, I'm just waiting on him to get here. I don't know how long it's gonna take, so. Wait. I'd just like to let everybody else know that I'm sorry for being late. Today's been quite a day, and I don't know what Cam has done in the meantime. A lot. Still <laughs> <Of> nothing. <laughs> but I'm here now, and let's do this podcast correctly, shall we? What is this thing? Is it Kerma? 